Come in, please. My side's gonna get a bite. Why, 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 man? Coming back, boy! The teaser out for now, just put it in the grass. Get off my lawn, here. Clear your left side, guys! Left side! Okay, lift your ass, get the front, get off the top, get off the Okay, Dave, we're gonna go get just one. Hold your right up to the side, Barry. Woo! Look at that thing go! Ah, uh, yeah, the H, the H, the H. Woo! Hooked on OC is proudly brought to you by the town of Ocean City, Maryland, Worcester County Tourism, the Harborside Bar and Grill, Sunset Marina, the Ocean City Fishing Center, Miller Light, Barrett Chevrolet, Mickey Finn's Bar and Grill, Red Sun Custom Apparel, Tournament Yacht Sales, the Mid-Atlantic 500,000, Crabs to Go, Park Place Jewelers, and the Ocean City Visitor's Guide. Hey folks, what's up? Scott Lennox here. Welcome to another episode of Fulked on OC. Folks, as you can see, I'm getting my flounder gear out. So this show, what we're doing for you is, we're not bringing you much, much fishing footage. We're going to get you ready for the upcoming 2012 flounder season. I'm going to show you rod and reel combos, rigs, baits, tackle, everything you need to know for the upcoming seasons in Virginia, Maryland, and Delaware, all of which we fish. We'll talk about size and creel regulations after that, and we're also going to take you to the DNR website and show you how you get regulated and licensed, which you need to do in Maryland in 2012. So fishing footage, not so much. Tune in next week. You want to know about flounder fishing? Stay tuned after the break. We're coming at you here on Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hey there. Coming to you from the casual, rustic atmosphere of the Harborside Bar and Grill. Just relaxing, sipping on a fresh squeezed orange crush. I'm telling you, this incredible restaurant has a bountiful menu. Homemade soups, over 20 appetizers, a variety of sandwiches, Angus beef burgers, fresh fish, seafood, steaks, pork chops, and made-to-order pasta dishes. Choosing your meal won't be easy. All that, plus a great happy hour and awesome entertainment. Harborside, fighting scurvy every day. What do you get when you brew a light beer from scratch? A light beer that tastes like beer should. Miller Lite. Never watered down. So, you like fishing? So do we. Check out Hooked on OC every Sunday morning at 7.30 on WMDT. Hey, more bills, more bills. Captain Rob, you out there? Sunset Marina is Ocean City's premier full-service marina resort. Sunset Marina is located just five minutes from the Ocean City Beach and Boardwalk. Sunset's charter fleet boasts the finest fleet of sport fishing boats in the Mid-Atlantic, all operated by Coast Guard licensed captains. One look at Sunset's amenities and you're hooked for good. Contact Sunset Marina today to book your fishing charter. Call 1-877-514-FISH. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, so welcome to this episode of Hooked on OC, folks. There's a little bit of a lull in the action here in Ocean City. We've shown you the rock fishing that is still going on off the beach here in Ocean City. Captain Monty is still slaying the tall tog off of Ocean City on the Morning Star. The other boats are all getting ready. you got Captain Chris on the Angler getting ready to go in the water here any day now, and they're going to be going out for these tog. Sea bass will be showing up soon after that. But i got to tell you, flounder have just about reached the area. We got a new season for Maryland regulations. We'll talk about that in a little while. The Virginia Watchapreek stuff will start going off here. That'll actually be our next show. That season's never closed. So first thing flounders show up, we're going to be down there. We're going to be trying to catch a couple. You guys can show you, show you where to go and catch them down there. What I'd like to do for you now is I want to show you my setups, some of the things that I like to do when I'm flounder fishing in Ocean City so you can get out there, fish these back bay waters, and catch some yourself. Now, I'm a... I'm a kind of a spin fishing guy from back in the day. I used to use a spinning, spinning reel pretty much that's it because they're so easy. Basically you flip the bale, you flip it back. 
About 12 years ago, I started using a bait caster and I haven't gone back for flounder fishing. You're not really doing any casting and retrieving or anything like that for flounder. You're just basically dropping it down to the bottom. So this setup for me is absolutely perfect. I've got a Corsair 400 from Shimano. It's reeled up with about 300 yards of 30 pound Momoi braid, okay? If you're smart, you start fishing these back bay waters around rocks and structure and that kind of thing for tall, bluefish, rockfish, uh, flounder especially, you're going to want to switch over to a braid. As you can see, really light, supple, limp line, but it's got a firmness and a strength that mono just cannot give you. Um, if you get a nick in mono, it's gone, it's done. A nick in a braid, you still might be able to catch a fish that you might not have caught before because of the holding strength with this. 30 pound braid is about the equivalent of 8 pound mono in diameter. So there's my reel. And this is a beauty. This is my seven and a half foot curly Q Dave Rom special. Dave Rom from Sunset Provisions built this for me back in 2004, and it is an absolute treasure of mine. I love it. I fish rockfish for it in the fall and early spring, and flounder fishing. It's always on a boat with me when I'm doing flounder fishing. And this baby, nobody's got one. Don't be jealous. This is my Calcutta TE, total efficiency, absolutely awesome awesome in the Calcutta series line from uh, Shimano and one of a kind Washington Redskins Chaos Rod. Don't be jealous, okay? Just because we're going to have either Andrew Luck or RG3, you shouldn't be jealous about that or the fact that I've got this fishing rod, all right? Just go get your own fishing rod and enjoy your flounder fishing. But this is my baby. I love this thing. And to tell you how close I am and how meant to be I was with the Redskins rod, this thing actually fell overboard when I did a no-no. I put it down the side of the boat, fish hit it, overboard she went. About 25 minutes later, I dragged it up off the bottom. True story, hand to God. This baby was meant to be mine. So, there's my two setups for as far as rods and reel combos go. Now, what I'd like to talk to you about now is some rigs. There's a lot of store-bought rigs that you can get that are absolutely spectacular. Really, really nice stuff. If you want to go the efficient way and uh, a little, something a little less expensive, Sea Striker makes a line of flounder and fluke rigs that you can pick up at Sunset Provisions, uh, the Ocean City Fishing Center store, and most of the other local tackle shops. Uh, we've got the Sea Striker rig. Another great company that hand makes their stuff here in the United States is a company called AquaClear out of New Jersey. They've really got some great fluke and flounder stuff. And by far, my favorite, the Acetique Cat Tackle Company. Dale Timmons, my old friend, uh, co or, excuse me, past owner of the Coastal Fisherman, is now doing a line of inshore rigs and tackle from everything from bluefish and spot and kingfish to flounder. And the one I've got here for you today is called the Daily Double. I got to be completely honest with you. I don't usually buy stuff off the shelf. I'm one of those guys that likes to make his own rigs. I'll show you that in just a couple of minutes. But we bought one of these in a pinch last year, and Dale had given us a couple for the show. And the Daily Double caught my wife, Kristen, a four and a half pound flounder. Got us second place in the small boat tournament at the Ocean City Marlin Club. This one is really, really good. As you can see, it's really simple, but the difference between Dale's rigs and most of the other ones is he uses top-notch components. These are the best components you can buy on the market. This is a real simple deal here. He's got a swivel up top. His front leader is about 18 or 20 inches out in front of his sinker. It's got a spinner blade for, uh, for looks. Uh, ball, we'll go with the Baltimore Ravens colored beads. I guess that's all right, but uh, that's just for attraction purposes. And then behind that, his sinker sits on the bottom. Another 18 to 20 inches behind that. He's got the exact same trailer on this. You put live shiners, live minnows in the spring, or in the fall, live, live mullet or a live spot, maybe a peanut bunker, this is a deadly double. No pun intended. So we've got those rigs there, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I tie mine. Um, what I do is I grab a little pack of 30 to 40 pound fluorocarbon. The reason I use fluorocarbon is because it's nice and sturdy, it's really, really straight running line. And with flounder fishing, you want your stuff to run as straight as possible behind that, uh, behind that sinker. First thing you do, Let's go with a little yellow squid. Okay, first thing that goes on is the beads. Don't forget that. If you put your beads on last, they're going to be behind the hook. So don't forget. Bead. 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 And now this is going to be the way I want my rig to run. So squid goes on next. Right up through the front, make sure I got my tag line. Okay, now I can drop everything because that's actually on the leader now. So, I'm coming to about a 2-0 live bait Gamagatsu hook. 
These are laser sharpened, probably the sharpest in the business. They make them anywhere from spot size all the way up to white marlin and blue marlin size for the offshore guys. And here's a quick, easy way to snell it. I'll take my time. Go through the eye of the hook. Pull out about eight or so inches of the leader through the eye of the hook, always pinching the eye in your hand. Make a loop, put that loop up against the shank of the hook. So now my tag line comes down through, around, through the eye of the hook, around the shank, and back out toward the barb and the, and the point, hook, point of the hook. Two fingers go up through the, the circle. Pinky, or excuse me, forefinger goes over, you twist them. Forefinger goes over, you twist them. Forefinger goes over, you twist them, and so on. Do that six or eight times. Once you get it to where you like it, pull it all down tight. Hold the stuff tight against the shank of the hook. Now when I let go of that, everything comes loose. It looks like I just made a mess. Not the case. Pull the line, main line forward. That comes tight. Pull your tag line forward. That comes tight. A perfect little snell on an otherwise deadly gamagatsu hook. Make sure you pull the snell up close to the shank. Give a little snip as close as you can to the line. Bingo. Here's all my stuff. Beads and squid. Man, that does look good if I do say so myself. Okay, I'm gonna do a one hooker here. So I'll pull off about, I like them a little longer than most people. Three to four feet. Give it a cut. So I gotta sharpen my scissors. All right. And now when this is ready to go on the line, ready for this? Loop. Pull it through, make a smaller loop. Loop, pinch it in your fingers. Reach through, grab the big loop, pull it through the small loop. Zink. How about that? Now I got a loop so I can go directly to my swivel, but I'm not doing that. I like to run them straight in line. So first thing I'm gonna do here is, I like to have my sinker on the line. So it's a real fish finder rig. That goes there. Just a simple fisherman's knot. To your swivel. That's how this is easy to get on. Loop goes through the eye of the swivel. Rig goes through the loop. Pull it all tight. Let's go floundering. I'm all set. That's good for spring, that's good for fall also. So, now I'm all set, I got my rigs, a little bit of bait, gulp's gonna be a ticket. If I'm going in the spring, I'm gonna use some either live shiners, probably can't get those, dead shiners, live minnows. Come on back after the break. You gotta get a license if you're gonna get fish Maryland waters. We're gonna take you to the DNR website, show you how to do it, we'll be right back. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Where to go, what to do, it's all in your free copy of the Ocean City Visitor's Guide. It's the most comprehensive guide available with the area's best fold-out map. And don't leave your guest room without your Passport to Savings coupon book, exclusively from the Visitor's Guide. It's packed full of money-saving coupons, so don't get caught in Ocean City without your Passport to Savings. The Ocean City Visitor's Guide, Restaurant and Menu Guide, and the Passport to Savings coupon book will give you everything you need to make the most of your vacation here in Ocean City. Spring is blooming at the Ocean City Inlet with Spring Fest 2012, May 3rd through the 6th. Four fun-filled days of delicious food, arts and crafts, live entertainment, and family fun. Rock and roll headlines with the fabulous hubcaps. The coal miner's daughter, Loretta Lynn, lights up the show. Rock the night away with 80s legends Survivor, followed by Any Money. Close out Spring Fest with a tribute to Buddy Holly. Tickets are on sale at the Ocean City Convention Center box office or Ticketmaster. For more information, visit OCOcean.com. Capture an Ocean City memory at Spring Fest 2012. Are you looking for the best crabs on this side of the Chesapeake Bay? Then head on over to Crabs to Go on the corner of Route 50 and 589. For over 20 years, Crabs to Go has been bringing you the fattest, tastiest crabs on the eastern shore available by the bushel or by the dozen. 
We also offer a full menu, including shrimp, clams, oysters, scallops, lobster tails, crab meat, and soft crabs. Call ahead for fast, hot carryout. Or stop by for our homemade crab cakes, soups, and salads. This is where the locals come. Crabs to go, routes 50 and 589, West Ocean City. Sunset Provisions has everything you need, including groceries and snacks, marine supplies, apparel for every season, ice, sodas, beer, and wine, inshore and offshore tackle, pelagic offshore clothing, Costa Del Mar sunglasses, Willie's custom trolling baits, Bait Masters tournament winning ballyhoo, and the best live bait selection in town. So come see me and the friendliest, most knowledgeable staff in the business here at Sunset Provisions just inside the entrance to Sunset Marina in West Ocean City. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, so welcome back to the show. We are in the Hooked on OC studios and more specifically the kitchen that Mr. Kohut built. Beautiful piece of work if I do say so myself. And I need to buy a fishing license. We're on here doing some hookedonoc.com maintenance. I'm going to switch on over and do this uh, by my fishing license. You guys are going to need to do that too. So first things first, you need to go to www2. That's a little weird. www2.md.wildlifelicense.com. Bingo. There I am on the Maryland Sport License sales page. Real simple to do. Lots and lots of information if you need to find something else other than the uh, license you need for flounder fishing here in Ocean City. Where am I going? To the bottom of the page. Step-by-step -step process on how you get your license. Number one, provide customer identification. I've already been on the website and bought licenses previously, so my information will pop right up. Number two, select the item or items to purchase. Number three, provide payment information because you ain't getting no license if you don't pay some money. Number four, print the receipt. You always want to print your receipt before you print your license. And number five, print your license or your document. It's a really, really easy process. It literally takes less than five minutes. I'm going to continue. Here we go. First stop, I am a Social Security number holder that has been on here previously. And I will type this in. One, four, Eight, six, that's all you get. My date of birth is zero five zero three nineteen seventy one. Continue. There we go. So now it's updating my information. And now it's asking me, do I qualify to be a resident of the state of Maryland? I do. My initial and my home address is in the state of Maryland. So I'm Maryland resident. I'm going to click on yes. Scott Christopher Lennox, there he is. There's all my pertinent information. I've been here before, so this is really, really easy. This will take me less than four minutes to have all this done. So check everything out. Um, what do I want to do here? Nothing. 5 3 1971. That must be a typo. It's like 1985. I don't know what's this wrong here. Uh, my address, 46 Camelot Circle. Sure, come on by. We'll have a beer. Continue. Everything is correct for me. I've purchased this license before. So, if you purchase a license which requires mailing, do you want it sent to that address? Yes, I do. That's the only thing I need to click on this page. Continue. Yeah. And now, what do I want to purchase? This is a really, really simple process. The resident non-title. That is basically a freshwater fishing license. I don't want that. I'm fishing for flounder, which is in the back bays and coastal waters of Ocean City, Maryland. So I'm looking for the Resident Bay and Coastal Sport License for 2012. It's just as simple as clicking the selection box on the left-hand side. That license is $15 for a Maryland resident. If you do not live in the state of Maryland, that license is $22.50, but you also won't be on this website. So, I've clicked the Resident Bay and Coastal Sport for $15. Basically, what that allows me to do is fish in the Chesapeake Bay, any of its tributaries, and Coastal Maryland, which is Assateague, Bay, or excuse me, Assateague Island, behind Assateague Island, uh, Big Assa Woman Bay, Cinepuxent Bay, and the like. Anything behind Ocean City. Scroll on down to the bottom of the page. Add to the shopping cart. There's a dollar forty cent convenience fee. If you go to Sunset Provisions or any of those places, the Ocean City Fishing Center that will sell you a license, they're basically set up in their shop to sell you a license. They'll do the exact same thing that I'm doing. It's going to cost you sixteen dollars and forty cents. Um, I'm sorry if you hear a little bit of background noise. I'm actually babysitting D Bird today. Uh, the owners of the property have left for the afternoon. D, 
D. D. I'm buying a license. Quiet down. Um, okay. Do I want to pay for this? Sure, I do. Credit card, MasterCard. I'm sorry, this is where things end for you. Social security number is one thing, credit card number, you ain't getting that. So I'm gonna go through this, complete the process. It's as simple as printing it out at the end. I have it in my pocket. Stay tuned after the break. What we're gonna do is, after I'm all finished buying my license, we're gonna head on over to the Facebook page and we're gonna have some viewer submitted questions. We'll be right back after the break with some more Hooked on OC. Stay with us. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. Hi, I'm Jimmy Fields, President and CEO of Tournament Yacht Sales. We are your full service yacht brokerage. Whether it's buying or selling your new or used custom or production boat, we have the sales staff that can assist you in any of your boating needs. Whether it be finding a captain, a mate, moving your boat up and down the coast, or selling. We have locations in Florida, Maryland, North Carolina, and Delaware. We can be reached on the web at www.tournamentyachtsales.com or 1-866-NEW-YACHT. Sunset Grill, a cool Caribbean atmosphere. A unique dining or social experience overlooking the water. Freshly prepared entrees and appetizers for every palate. Casual dining in a fun atmosphere. Relax in our comfortable, elegant lounges with your special libation. Sunset Grill, a place to relax and enjoy. There's nothing more exciting than a day of offshore sport fishing. The sun, the sea, and a boatload of your friends trying to land the big one. Ocean City Fishing Center is the area's number one charter fleet with 37 boats sailing out every day looking for the big fish. Tuna, marlin, dolphin, and shark. Every crew that sails is dedicated to your excitement. And all our captains are licensed by the U.S. Coast Guard for your safety. Headboats are also available for family fishing fun. Whether your party is big or small, call Ocean City Fishing Center. Tight lines and good times. And now back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, so we're back. We we're on the Facebook page, and if you don't know it already, if you're not on Facebook already, you are absolutely missing the boat. I mean, where else are you going to find out what Kim Kardashian is doing this week, huh? Or if Nate Burkus is going to redo your living room. How are you going to find that stuff out? Facebook, that's how. So we're on the Facebook page. We've got about 2,300 fans on there. We absolutely love it. We interact with folks all the time, and that's exactly what we're doing today. We put out there that we were doing this show and wanted to see if anybody had any questions about flounder fishing. And here's a couple for your enjoyment. Scott Jennings says to set the hook or not. That is the question. Scott, good question. Um, I see a lot of people that set the hook a little bit too early when it comes to flounder fishing. I'll always say it like this. Boom, boom, boom. That's the sure sign that a flounder's jumped on your line. If you feel a rat -a -tat, it's probably a bluefish. More of a pull and sluggish, it's probably a skate. That bump, bump, bump is the initial bite of a flounder. And what you want to do is maybe give it three, four, five seconds and then just one pull back. That's it. But that is setting the hook. No big game jerks and no real light. Just start reeling. One quick snag. If he's there, he's there. If he's not, drop it back down. So help this, hope this helps you guys out a lot. What you need to do is do us a favor. Go to facebook.com, slash it back, hooked on OC. Become a fan of the show. We're always giving away t-shirts and prizes and that sort of thing. Um, and always giving out information like this. There's one place you can go to find out information that's going on here in Ocean Sea with the fishing scene, and it's us at Hooked on OC. And the best place to do that is at hookedonoc.com or facebook.com, hooked on OC. All right, stay tuned after the break. We'll be closing the show out for you. We're flounder fishing here on Hooked on OC. We'll be right back. Hooked on OC, we'll be right back. What brings you down to Harborside today? I love the orange crushes and the music. Orange crush. And the orange crush. Orange crushes. The orange crush. It's all about the crushes. Came here to see you. What's not the love? Isn't he cute? Just a couple drinks. I love the rockfish, orange crush, rockfish. Enjoying the weather. Aren't you ready to be at Harborside? Motorcycle ride. Motorcycle ride. Several orange crushes. 
Having a good time. Harborside's the best. Rock it. So have you seen it? No. Have you? Mm -mm. So where did he go? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? So where did he go? He went to Harrods. What? Oh my <laughs> gosh, what, did they go together? <laughs> so, where, where did, did he go? go? Thank goodness oh he my. went to Park Place Jewelers. Oh my god. Where did he go? So where did he go? So, you like fishing? So do we. Check out Hooked on OC every Sunday morning at 7.30 on WMDT. Hey, more bills, more bills. Captain Robbie, out there? Red Sun Custom Apparel is Ocean City's leader in t-shirts, embroidery, and promotional products. Simply put, the best graphics you'll see anywhere. Call Red Sun today at 302-988-8300. Worcester County, located on Maryland's eastern shore, is Maryland's only seaside county and is known for its clean, sandy beaches, outdoor recreation, steamed crabs, and the famous wild ponies on Assateague Island's national and state seashore parks. Worcester County has everything to offer, from its historical towns to Ocean City, filled with a three-mile boardwalk, amusement parks for the family, and its wonderful lifeguarded beaches. And for all the fishermen out there, Ocean City is home to the richest sport fishing tournament in the world and is the white marlin capital of the world. Visit Worcester County and discover its wonders. And now, back for more Hooked on OC. Okay, folks, so there you go. I'm ready. I got all my rigs done. I got my rods set up. I've been online. I've got my license purchased. Answered a couple of questions on the Facebook page. And this is how it goes down this year with regulations, folks. In Delaware, you're looking at an 18-inch fish, four fish per person, and a closed season from the October 23rd through December 31st. That means your season is open from January 1st until October 23rd. Might be a little tough there in the fall fishing because if those flounders stick around in November, no fish for you. Um, Virginia, 16 and a half inches, four per person, and no closed season. That is absolutely awesome news to me because next week I'm heading down to Watch a Creek, Virginia. My buddy Captain Luke Bloom from the um, White Lightning, myself, we're taking his little boy Joshua. We're heading down there. Phew, glad I'm not fishing today. Um, we're heading down to Watch Creek, Virginia. We always have a great time down there. 16 and a half inch fish and four per person. I bet you we come back with at least 12. Maryland, here's the important one. Good news for us again. Size limit's going down to 17 inches. That's the first time that's happened in probably six or eight years that the size limit has come down. Make sure you buy your license because that's why it's coming down. They're getting really good catch data nowadays. They can do regulations and career limits based on that. 17 inch fish, three fish per person. Our season starts on April 14th. If you're watching this on Sunday, April 14th, get out there this afternoon. I guarantee you there's fish in the bay. Head on out and see what you can do with them. Season's gonna close December the 16th. Can't think of a better scenario for Maryland because the fish don't even really show up here until the first part of April. Usually they're gone by December, so that's a really good season for us. 17 inches, I will take it. So make sure you stay tuned next time for another edition of Hooked on OC, folks. I'm getting my stuff. Watch Creek, Virginia is our next stop. After that, the back bay is behind Ocean City. We'll see you then. Thanks for watching.